pleasure on the Roger McDonald Show to introduce Donald Kelly, the sales evangelist from Miami, Florida. How are you, brother? Doing great, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show, brother. I appreciate it. Man, it's so awesome. We met at the World Championships of Public Speaking, and I just knew from the first moment I met you that you're an awesome guy and that people need to know who you are. So I'm really enthusiastic about just letting people in my network know who Donald Kelly is. <laughs> so, so Donald, well, tell us about you yourself. You're the sales evangelist. I love your podcast. I've already checked it out. And uh, <laughs> yeah, tell us about you. All right, man. Well, thanks so much. My um, so I have a podcast called The Sales Evangelist, and The Sales Evangelist is just what it is. I evangelize about sales. Yeah. Everything that we do in life, no matter what it is, you have to do some form of selling. You have to sell in some way, shape, or form. And it's important that you understand the, the fundamental principles. While I was new in sales, I didn't understand all of those fundamental principles, and it proved to me that I, it showed because I wasn't successful. But then when I started to get the proper training, I started to see improvement. I saw a tremendous increase in my income. That's when it hit me. There are a lot of people out there who don't know those fundamental concepts. So I therefore wanted to, I felt it was my moral obligation to evangelize what I have learned to share with others so they can learn it too and not have to go through those things. So my podcast definitely is designed for a lot of new and inexperienced sellers, people who maybe they're entrepreneurs, they have to sell but don't necessarily know how to sell, or they just you know graduate of college, want to increase in their sales, career changers, or even sometimes we have folks who listen to it like, dang, this is good, and they've been selling for 20, 15, 10 years, but, and they're doing fine, but just want to sharpen the tool because I interview some of the top experts in our industry that provide great insights. So that's what the sales evangelist is about. And um, Donald, you know, we're all part of the Commonwealth because I was born in Jamaica. Yeah. You know, I moved to the uh, United States when I was nine. Um, and uh, so I, you know, a little bit of Jamaica kind of inside of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's cool, bro. I, uh, yeah, yeah man, so, so that, that's kind of like me and my background. I've had over 11 years in, in sales from, awesome. I mean, from, college level all the way up to professional sales, uh, sales are do right now. Yeah, when I because sales is a funny thing and some people have some negative opinion of sales and sales people. When I listened yeah. to your podcast, it really was down to earth and really accessible and friendly and I just felt like, man, I can do this after listening to just the way you talked about it, the way you introduced yourself and, and I really suggest anyone who's watching it who feels a bit funny about sales, whether they're in business or a coach or whatever they're in, to get and check your podcast out. It's really cool. Yeah. Thanks, I appreciate it, and that's one of the things I wanted to do, I just wanted to keep, keep it the, the, the human level, right, yeah. because too often we try to become too professional and try yeah. to, you know, be more authoritative, I like to just be myself and yeah. just share what I know, and those are the things that makes us connect, like we have our Facebook group and our Facebook group of sales evangelizers, it's growing because people are just connecting on a wow. human level, awesome. and I'm able to connect with them. And you know, I was in New Orleans the other day, and was able to connect with one of my listeners in Philadelphia. I was able to connect with some of my folks. But yeah. you know, the reason why this, all these things happen, while we have these good relationships, because you know, you just act like a human all the time, and that's what you need to do. Love it, man. That's awesome. So you got a Facebook group as well? People can join. Yeah, a free Facebook group. It's called the Sales Evangelizers. Brilliant. So um, it's well, on Facebook. Just search for evangelizers, the sales evangelizers. We also have a Facebook page, but you can check it out there and see some of that stuff and, and learn a little bit more about the group. It's a free group, so ask questions and connect with others. And who knows, maybe there's a client in there for you or somebody you can build a relationship with, and next thing you know, they provide some good referrals to you and vice versa. So Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, because um, I'll definitely post that in the, in the – every time I post it, I'll post that link for the Facebook and your uh, podcast. Donald, um, I just want to ask, you know, where to from here for you? How are you going to take this? Like you're traveling around America. I saw you ripping it up on stage in the World Championships public speaking. So, you know, where to from here? What do you What do you got planned? So the goal, thanks for asking. The goal with, with the sales evangelist is I want to take this further. You mm -hmm. know, we've been doing it for three years, and I'm you know grateful to say because it started off as a side hustle. Yes. It was something that I, I was doing a software sales job, and, that's, and again, I started to have a breakthrough, and I was like, holy cow, I can share this stuff. Mm. So the podcast grew, and people started asking, I coach them, or can I do some training for them? Can I do some speaking? And then one thing led to another to where the business started to develop, and my wife and I last year made a decision for me to jump out of the full-time corporate uh, gig. So it's been one year that we've been going 
full. So I coach individuals and then I work with sales teams as well, like small sales teams, companies typically under thirty million dollars or so. Wow, awesome. And then speaking, so speaking going, you know, different groups from small groups to large, like in the one I just did in, in uh, New Orleans, probably about 150 folks attendees that I was able to speak to in that event, um, do a little keynote speaking there. But the goal is to take this thing further, to take the sales uh, processes that we're learning, that we're developing, things that we're understanding, and then to make that into a, a licensing model. Yes. So now that I can have other authorized sales evangelist trainers and help to multiply myself or some of my keynotes or some of the topics that we speak on that are the most popular, creating keynotes that people can speak on um, and we can have authorized you know speakers as well and they can you know help and then TSC can grow. You mentioned you had some tips for people who want to do sales today. Yeah, and then one. Yeah, one of the main tips that I want to share with people, a lot of people don't necessarily, like one of the main challenges that we have is, especially when we start off selling, is the fear of rejection or, you know, just like feeling intimidated. And one of the things that I've come to realize that helps overcome any time I felt intimidated, whether it's in sales or in business, is being able to have the confidence. Once you have confidence in something, your ability to do it increases. I think it's Thoreau who said it. Um, what the, how did it exact way? Um, I'm going to butcher it, so I don't want to... <laughs> Every day with Thoreau. Kind of, I'll, I'll just give you... It, I won't give you the exact quote, but I'll yep. just share the, the principle of it. Um, yeah, it, it, the concept was that as individuals, you know, we, we think that sometimes we're going to be, you know, be perfect at something. We're not going to be perfect at something, but as, a, as we practice something, our ability to do that thing increases. So, you know, you might think, well, I'm not a good piano player. Well, it's not that you're going to automatically become a fantastic piano player if you take one class. It's by you repetitiously doing it over and over and over again. And it's not that it becomes easier. I mean, not that it becomes uh, easier, but your ability to do it improves. So, again, piano playing is still going to be hard. It's not like all of a sudden, you know, the ability, you have less keys or less notes or anything like that. Everything is still there, but your ability to do it you know, becomes easier. I can't remember the exact quote, but I'm sure somebody will find it and just share it. So, but yeah, so think about that with sales too. So often we think, oh, that person is so, you know, they have a great job doing sales or, you know, they have it, you know, it comes so natural for them. You know, they look so awesome. She's so pretty. So it's easy for her. Yeah. But, and that's the mindset that I had. But then what I realized is that you're, it's a confidence level because that person was able to practice. They knew who their I, yeah. ideal customers were. They under their main challenges and they need you how to articulate those solutions to those challenges and that's what made them successful they also had a great work ethic they work harder they set goals and they push themselves better than more than anyone else and that's what helps some of the top performing sellers improve they have this process and it's a simple process they have it in the way of finding people they have a way of speaking to them to find their pain and sharing with them the solutions and they have a way to closing them or to follow up and to share with them value that people want to close themselves and if you can have like a basic, basic process and follow that process over and over again, you'll be successful. But the most important part is to get past the head lies we tell ourselves, the head yeah. trash we tell ourselves that we can't do it. You got to get past that. Once we can get past that, we get more confident in ourselves. And the more you, the more you can look at your some of your, if you can look at some of your current customers, some of your current clients, and see the result they're getting from your product or service. Then it makes you more confident to go out and speak. When I was doing door to door security sales at one point in my career, I tell you that stuff is some difficult stuff. But when I was doing that, you know, sometimes I would find a knock on a door and I would close the deal. And you know, you go through an hour, then the next door, a couple doors later, you find another opportunity and close. It's not like all of a sudden everyone in this neighborhood wanted security. It was because I was so confident from my previous, uh, you know, close it brought on to the next close. So think about your current customers. Think about some of them that you're working with right now. See, you know, some of them that have results. Go back and look at some of those results and then use that as fuel to increase your confidence because you have something that can benefit other people. Your product or the service that you have can benefit other people. And it's your moral, moral obligation to let them know. And if you can do that, you can change lives and people will be willing to pay you for it. And I love that. I love your attitude, Donald. And I just want to expose you to as many people in, in Australia as possible. I know you know a few Aussies in sales uh, because I think I just love the way you talk about it. You talk about it with passion and you make it seem so easy. So I really encourage people to check out your stuff. You've got a great offer for our listeners today. Do you want to share that? Yeah. Okay. 
totally free. It's called, um, I have a three-part video series of, that talks about how you can double the amount of referrals you're getting. And um, it's on my website, but I'll give you guys a link so you can get it easy. Um, it's thesalesevangelist.com forward slash Roger. Again, oh, okay. thesalesevangelist.com forward slash Roger. And if you are able to go there, you can download it and start watching those videos and take part in that. So hope Love that it. can help. Love it. That's awesome, Donald. And I just remember how we first met because I remember it was the, the night before the semi final, and everyone was so serious. And, you know, we were saying hello to everyone and people just didn't want to talk. And then I said hello to you and you said your name was Donald. And I said, oh, we must be cousins because I'm Roger McDonald. And, and you laughed and we got talking and I just thought, man, this guy is cool. Because um, <laughs> everyone was so serious and so um, uptight about the competition. But, uh, man, yeah, really cool to meet you, Donald. I'm so glad. Um, thanks yeah. for making the time today. <laughs> thanks for making the time, man. Um, yeah, check out Donald. So what's your website, Donald? Salesevangelist.com is it? The salesevangelist. Yep. Yeah. But you go to the salesevangelist.com. Yep. Your Facebook group. Slash Roger. Don't get uh, that video training. Oh, awesome. a little bit more about us. Well, oh, the sales evangelizers. And on iTunes, it's the podcast. If we just search for the sales evangelist, we'll get yeah, there. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, to, uh, Donald, brother. Check out this guy. I encourage you to check out Donald. Even um, you know. Get on a Skype call with him. You're an awesome guy, Don. I really do appreciate you making the time to um, share that tremendous value with our listeners today. Hey, man. Anytime. Thank you so much for what you're doing and for community and for just giving. Yeah, you're welcome, Don. Man, we've been cutting out a little bit. So, um, yeah. Yeah, thanks. I, you one, so <laughs> I really appreciate what you're doing, brother. Thanks, brother. Thanks, Donald.